bulky and enormous. Still planes manage to stay in the air. How do they do that? Well, it takes four different forces. Let's look into them. An obvious one is lift. The airplane is shaped in such a way that the air floats and moves around the wings. The strength with which that happens is strong enough to push the plane upwards. This brings us to the second force, which is weight. The airplane has to be balanced the right way to stop it from tumbling down. Now, you can imagine that weight would win over lift if the plane isn't moving. It's the same reason you can't just hover an object in the air. Gravity. This is where trust comes in. This third force helps the plane move forward. A propeller or jet engine pushes it through the air, not only creating trust, but lift as well. The last force is drag. Have you ever ridden your bike so fast that you felt the wind pushing you backwards? That is what happens to a plane as well. This force slows the plane down, which is not wanted during mid-flight, but needed during landing. That is why the plane is shaped in such a way that the air can pass with a minimum drag or a maximum one when the flaps of the wings are adjusted. So, when lift, weight, thrust and drag work together, the plane can move through the air, just like a bird.